If you take a look at all the tornadoes in the past 60 plus years in the Pacific Northwest, it comes out to just over 400. In fact, there have likely been many more that were just never observed. In our region, we average 7 to 10 tornadoes per year. Most of them are weak compared to east of the Rockies. We've only had a handful of EF3 tornadoes and no known EF4s or 5s. We usually see tornadoes in the afternoon and early evening hours, whereas in other parts of the country, they've been routinely observed at just about any time of the day. One of the larger tornadoes out here was the April 5, 1972 tornado that touched down in far northern Portland and crossed the border into Washington. This one occurred pretty close to 1 o'clock in the afternoon. The F3 was on the ground for 9 miles, killing 6 people and injuring around 300 others. This storm destroyed a school, a grocery store, and blowing center along its path. When it comes to being ready for tornadoes, you have to start getting prepared the moment a tornado watch is issued, if not before. A watch means conditions are favorable for future development of tornadoes and potentially a high likelihood of hail and or high winds. When a tornado warning is issued, that means a tornado has been spotted or one is imminent, being determined by radar and or spotters in the field. At this point, it's time to take action if you already haven't done so. Now, do you know what to do when a warning has been issued for your area? If not, here's some information. If you're at home, head to your basement or storm shelter if you have one. If not, go to the most interior room on the lowest floor. Grab as many blankets and pillows as possible. Also, look for things like helmets that is good protective gear and will protect yourself from falling or flying debris. If you are at school, work, or other public building and there is no designated shelter, go to an interior room on the lowest floor. If that's not possible, find a well-protected hallway that is also on the lowest floor. You want to avoid areas with lots of glass and large open roof rooms like auditoriums or a room that is very similar. If you are driving or stuck outside, find a sturdy structure as soon as possible. If you cannot and can also cannot get out of the path of the tornado safely, find a ditch or low spot. Do your best to cover your head and neck. Whatever you do, do not take shelter under an overpass. If a tornado directly hits the bridge or passes at close range, you may easily be sucked out from under that overpass. Remember, now is the time to get prepared, not when it's happening.